Hidden Object Guru here, back for more Mystery Case Files, Ravenhurst. Uh, when we last left the game, uh, we had just, I guess, uh, she found the evil crib, if I'm not mistaken. Oh yeah, no, they found him uh, trying to poison her with white phosphor, which does sound bad. Uh, I don't know, I, I think I was on William's side before, but now, I don't know what I'm supposed to feel about the guy. Uh, lime and a handgun. Wouldn't it be great if the lime was hidden on the black and white screen so uh, it was not visible? I feel like it shouldn't be hard to find a lime. I mean, it has to be green unless it's here on the screen somewhere. But it's obviously not. Uh, he hoped. And a handgun. Yikes. I, I kind of enjoyed my hubris last time thinking I could just randomly click on items on the uh, movie screen that obviously weren't a part of that picture. Uh, but of course, that's not going to be more than one or two items. Uh, for some reason, I thought I was back playing whatever the hell that Christmas missed. Oh, it's a sliced lime. Oh, you got me, game. That was, that was a good one. Alright, I hit menu instead of... Anyway, no, it doesn't matter. Let's check out the storage room. What is a Moravian star? I, I honestly don't know that, and I'm a little worried that it was something I was supposed to know. Like, I just found it, and I still don't know what it is. There's the apple. I feel like we've gotten the poison bottle before, although it could have been in another room. Oh, that kitten. Mirror necklace heart. Uh, the hand mirror is here. We got that last time. Oh, we've got to be circling the end of the game, right? Wait a minute. I think I never found the heart here, did I? Or maybe I did, because it's right there. And it would be weird if I hadn't found that. It's a magistrate puppet. A cat puppet. Oh, is that a cat puppet? No, that's just a cat. Uh, oh, there's the cat puppet. It was literally right next to the magistrate puppet. This uh, one has not been as challenging as I remember it being. All right, uh, if we could just get this poison bottle, we would be out of here. That is a an ace. An ace of diamonds. And that is not a poison bottle. Like, the reason I think the poison bottle ha- oh god, it's front and center, wow, that is, that is bad. Alright. Uh, yeah, that wasn't terrible. Uh, so what I was gonna say was, guest quarters here has locks. Uh, no lock there. And nursery is locked, we have to undo the nursery. Uh, which I'm not looking forward to, but so and then workshop. So what I'm saying is, there's at least, after this level, after this, uh, diary entry day, whatever you want to call it, there are at least two more days, unless they're going to have us unlock two, there's only one more, and they're going to have us unlock two at the same time, which I just don't think is going to happen. Uh, solve the puzzle to gain access to the thing. Okay. Well, obviously I have to click, uh, bird, total. Okay, well, what am I supposed to move them, or... Okay, over there I need a dog. <coughs> Excuse me. Over here I need a different kind of dog. Well, here's a bird. Oh, down here. Nope. No, that was that was wrong. Wait, wait, wait. This button here. Okay. Uh, red balloon. Target. Uh, red balloon and target. No, this target. There were two targets. I was right, wasn't it? All right, so that's one. What the hell could be going on with these things? You know, what, let's just do another puzzle. Okay, there's a pharaoh who does dances? Oh, he became a bird. Okay. Yeah, so it's just different dances. Yeah, comedy girl. Alright, whatever that was. Let's just find these. Alright, so the items are mask, bird, mask, bird, dog bone, flower. Mask, bird, dog bone, flower. Oh, I have to do them in order. Okay, well, that wasn't clear. Mask. Bird. Why do I have to do them? You know what? 
Why am I complaining? I know where all the items are. Let's just take them and move on. You're welcome. All right, five? Okay, five. Let's do this. Uh, it is ear. Beer. <laughs> ear, beer, star. Ear, beer, star, clock. Ear, beer, star, clock, bugle. 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 Ear, beer, star, clock. Okay, now I just need to find the bugle and we are out of here. Uh, no, I took too long. The bugle was right there next to the clock. And it's not going to be the same items this time, is it? Lock. Lock lime. Lock lime beer. Lock lime beer s. Lock lime beer s apple. Lock lime beer s apple. Lock. Lime. Beer. S. Apple. I had noticed most of those previously. Now for six? Oh. Uh, so I'm supposed to hit sheep, dog, turtle, bird. I thought it was a frog. It's a snake. Thank you. Can I have the key or are you just going to open You're just going to open it. That's fine. I hated that, but you saw me hate that, so I don't need to make a big deal out of it. All right, so let's do a pair of dice, pencil eraser. Oh, so this is a new, of course it's a new area. You just unlock the door, Debbie. Oh, it's the magistrate again. Uh, leg bone, leg bone, Jesus. That is like a bang, that is not a leg bone. Uh, two fish. Now when you say two fish, do you mean like together or am I gonna have to find two? No, I'm gonna have to find two separate fish because there's one of them. Is that one the other one? That might be the other one right there. No, that's a feather duster. Anyway, pencil eraser. That sounds like a blast. Uh, it's probably going to be pink, I think. Oh, pink. Uh, I would be say uh, people, you know, use pink to be the color of skin. It's actually one that, you know, belongs at the end of an eraser. Uh, and I remember as a child uh, being told, uh, you know, pink skin, blah, 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 and I would have, uh, because I was in school, obviously, the uh, thing that was, of course, most pink, there was another helmet on the screen where you weren't supposed to grab that one. I guess that's a Viking helmet? Cavalier helmet? Uh, palace guard rifle. Oh, I needed the rifle. Wow, that was easy. There's a palace guard. Anyway, so I would look at my skin and be like, well, that's not very pink, because I know this eraser is pink. It's the same color as bubblegum, if anything brighter than bubblegum. So I know that's what pink is, and my my skin doesn't look that color at all. So I would uh, become very confused. It was my own version of the uh, the whole flesh crayon debacle. Although obviously not as traumatic. Although apparently they stopped making the flesh colored crayon uh, like back in the 50s or 60s. <laughs> so apparently they were woke to the uh, badness of that just in the way back in the long, long ago, in the before times. And uh, the reason it got so much talk throughout the uh, 80s and 90s is because the kids who, the last kids to grow up, you know, when the, I guess, when the, uh, let's see, where are these dice? Hassle over it happens were, you know, the ones writing cultural artifacts. So they still talked about the flesh-colored crayon like it was still a thing even though it was just something they remembered from childhood. Weird that I... Oh, I thought it was a domino! I thought that was a red domino! Oh, that was a clever game. I was looking at them the whole time, and I didn't recognize they were dice. Uh, I've got no luck on this leg, so let's go. It's like a uh, map, you say. Yes, please. I was thinking about uh, when they take some... when writers take something from their childhood. And they haven't really done any research, so they assume it's still around. Like, if I were to be, like, start writing about characters having beepers suddenly, because I thought beepers were still a thing. That kind of specific thing. Although, they're not that. I mean, beepers were obvious. But you see the point. A greater glove, sunglasses, a fork, dart, paper star, bottle of water. What is a paper star? Anyway. Yeah, the thing I was going to mention... Oh, that's a paper star. 
looks a lot like the Mephrum boat, but I don't remember what the kind of star was on the first screen. Sunglasses, you say. How hard could they be to find? Uh, a good example of that is, uh, what I've always pointed out, um, so when James Cameron, he, uh, was writing Spider-Man, right, uh, he wrote a whole treatment. I think he's the one who came up with the idea of giving him organic webbing that his body produced rather than something he invented, which I always thought was a mistake. But anyway, uh, I think that the was Electro in that movie. What he had done to uh, have Spider-Man be making money was his idea was glove, fork, dart, bottle opener. That uh, Spider-Man would, using his newfound uh, balance and agility, would become a street performer, a street acrobat, busking for money. And the idea was going to be that, like, someone was going to, like, a guy who ran a store or something like that was going to be a complete jerk to him and, uh, you know, call the cops on him to stop him from busking in the area, even though the people around loved him. And then that guy's store was going to get robbed. And that would be the guy, thing where he let the guy go. Like, what goes around comes around, you jerk, kind of situation. And, of course, that guy would let her go on to kill Uncle Ben. Or maybe Sandman did it. I never saw that third Spider-Man movie, so I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> Although Sandman... Uh, no, it was going to be Electro, not Sandman, in the, uh, uh, the James Cameron draft. Which is weird uh, for a couple of reasons that aren't important right now. I think the main one is that uh, the place they had... I remember from the James Cameron script, and I'm pretty sure that when escaping from jail, uh, Electro Max Dillon? Anyway. Uh, went running through a man's face was hidden like in stone or something like that. Oh no, it's just this. Oh my god, I remembered finding the catechist the first time I was here. Okay, it wasn't hard to find at all. Two planes. This time I'm ready for you, you dick. Plane there. Other kind of plane right here. It was running through like a field of electrical um, like lightning rods or artificial lightning, who knows, and then he got electrified by all of them and it turned him into um, uh, the shock, no, Electro, not the shocker. <laughs> Electro. But I think in the third Spider-Man movie a similar thing happened. Like he was running through a field of like electricity, but also there was sand there, and so the electricity fused him with the sand. Again, I haven't seen the film, so I probably shouldn't be trying to uh, noodle out plot points. There's the compass. I was looking for the other kind of compass, but this one even has a pencil in it. It's that m obviously a compass, which is nice. Uh, yeah, I should not be trying to uh, tell stories about a film I still haven't seen. The point I was getting to with the scriptment was, right? Wait, I did have a point with that, didn't I? Oh my god, dude. Alright, apparently I uh, got so deep into rambling about Spider-Man 3 and the James Cameron scriptment that I've forgotten the point I was trying to make, which is, I'll be honest with you, pretty troubling. I'm a little worried about my uh, ability to craft a coherent story now. No, I got nothing. Uh, shoes, hammer, dial, grapes, seashell, briefcase. Okay, briefcase. I feel like briefcase should be the easiest part to find. Well, there's the shoes. Um, those are the shoes. Do you s I mean, I was going to ask if you could see how close my mouse was, but I don't think the uh, mouse capture works on this game. So just trust me, I was clicking right on it a bunch. And when you say dial, what do you mean by that? I'm looking for some purple for the grapes to hide in. Ah, there it is. I see the, the weight. The question is, is that Sylvester or Arnold? And if you know what that's a reference to, uh, be the first commenter below this video to mention it, and you'll win a prize. Uh, also, the first person to leave a comment <laughs> explaining uh, what I was getting at when I started... Uh, talking. Oh, is it the dial on the phone? No, it isn't. Weird. Oh, do you mean valve handle? No, you don't. Okay. I want to come back and find out what dial is if I don't solve this thing. Oh, there's the hammer. Wow, that wasn't... It was not hard to find at all. 
Uh, no, it's not that. It's not this. I'm just now clicking on circular things. Uh, yeah, also the first commenter to explain what I was... what it sounded like I was trying to get at when I started talking about James Cameron's Spider-Man. Uh, if you're the first... Uh, I mean, mention what I was trying... what it seemed like I was trying to get at. And, uh... And at where in the time code roughly that happens. And boom. First commenter to do that also gets a prize. So that's two prizes back to back. The quiz and then that. Uh, what is the old... Uh, I, saw, oh, I saw a bar dumbbell, just to remind you of the quiz. Because I, you know, immediately moved into something else. Uh, I saw a... There's a boot. There's a pulley. The other kind of compass, obviously. A noose. Nice. Ah, see what I did there? Uh, where was the snake on this screen? Because I see the dragon. I don't see the snake. And I feel like we found the snake. Uh, we've got a raccoon. Do you need a raccoon? Oh, macaroni. That one I remember. Pocket watch. So just a... Just a... Just a dial. It was a pocket watch! Honestly, that looked like a bundle of dynamite with a timer to me. Although that's obviously not what it is. Uh, five clues remaining. Hey, we can start using, uh, yay! We can start using clue, uh, hints. That's great. Uh, apparently it's, uh, that time of the night when, uh, my attempts to... No, that's still not a snake. Uh, I know I could just use a hint to find the snake, but give me five more seconds. You know, why am I trying to be prideful about this? Just tell me where the stuff is, guys. Oh, wait, uh, I will take one look for the compass. And I will fail. Alright, done and done. Oh, so yeah, that's that's fair. I was gonna say that wasn't fair, but that's fair. Once again, oh wait, is that a snake? Oh, screw you. Although note that the the I don't think the snake was even technically inside the circle. That's how broad that circle was. And I feel like the circle has to be a set size, so they can't get it enough far enough into the corner to accurately tell you where that was. Which might be what happened to me when they said there's something in the bottom right corner last time. And I went nuts trying to find it, and I had to just abandon that item. Maybe it wasn't within the circle at all. Maybe it was down into the right of the circle, which... If that's the case, you might have just raised your ranking to shoddiest uh, hidden object game I've ever played game. If that, in fact, did happen. Uh, I would have to go back and find the... Uh, the place in the video where that happened, and I'm in no mood to do that. Uh, you say there's a handgun here. Did it just happen again? Alright, so you, you saw that. It was right on the the, the happy couple here and the ch No, that is a handgun. I was about to say. Uh, okay, now let's go and find that item that I desperately wanted to search for. Is it in the parlor? Dial. Yeah, let's find out what the dial is. Oh, okay, it's the dial from uh, the speed dial from a boat. I did not that know you would call that a dial, because it's actually the thing that you like. It's actually the speed control. It's not just demonstrating the way a dial does. Oh no! The ladies are freaking out because of the poisoning. She's like, I've got you get get you out of here, or do I? Maybe I've really been on his side all along. I mean, it doesn't. the plot's not going that way at all. That's just what I wanted it to be. But, uh, yeah, it's probably... The plot is probably not going that way, is what I'm saying. As sad as that makes me. Uh, hair? Yeah. What? That's that's not her ear and hair? Oh, it's not. Okay. It's just more of her head. All right, that wasn't great. Uh, here we go. Right there. Yes. Uh, what we've got here? Nope. Oh, it's a corner. It's this corner. Uh, now we've got... Is that a corner too? Yes, it is. Uh, okay. What is that? Is that like... Oh, it's the wicker! It's her, uh, wheelchair. Yay! Oh, wicker wheelchairs. You always creep me out. Is it because the first time I ever saw a wicker wheelchair was in the movie, uh... There we go. Uh, the movie Manhunter? Yeah, I think I think that was it. I think I will forever associate them with, uh... Uh, 
with the red dragon uh, burning a dude alive. It was not cool. Uh, there we go. I'm trying to remember who played the... Uh, I know Philip Seymour Hoffman played him in that terrible remake they did. Uh, but I'm trying to remember who actually played... Uh, Freddie Lyons in the first version of it in Manhunter and then I realized was it just like an actor who you know uh, there we go they decided it looked right for the part and isn't famous and hasn't gone on to do a bunch of other stuff kind of curious to alright uh, let's see there's your neck I said there's your neck there's your hair now I need the corner hair, which apparently I already had. Uh, blanky. Oh, sort of shawl. More window. Yes. Oh, sorry. Okay. Perfection. Done and done. Yay! All right, let's find out what the plot was. We must flee. Is Charles trying to murder me? Am I absurd to ask myself such, such a question? I felt so incredibly terrible. I'm ready, uh, rarely sure if I awake or dreaming any longer. Can I trust myself? Rose believes she is correct. She says she's been keeping me here by making me. He has been keeping me here by making me sick. Charles has slowly fallen into his own delusional sickness. How could I have trusted him? We must leave. It's very clear this madness will take our lives if we stay. Escape from this cursed home where I have known nothing but illness and fear. Charles will kill us if we do not flee this place at once. Wow. Motivation. Anyway, um, I was just thinking maybe, and I could be wrong here. I could easily be wrong here. What if... Uh, Charles... Yeah, there's still workshop, which I guess this is the second last day then. Anyway, um, what if uh, what Charles has done is uh, Charles has found out that she's inherited a bundle of money from America by intercepting her letters, and he's forged paperwork to say that the two of them are married so that he can then kill her and inherit all of her money. Like, what if he's not just a crazy occult monster who's doing this for Satan? What if this was all an amazing plan to steal her family's money by uh, faking a marriage license and getting one of his cronies to act as a witness? That could work, right? Like, that could be a thing? Where's a stack of books? No, that's a stack of bread. And by stack, of course, I mean loaf. We don't judge, uh, we don't call, we don't call bread stacks. Uh, book stack. I need oars and I need a whale. Well, the whale, not such a challenge. The oars, slightly more so. Like, when you said two oars, I thought they'd be, like, crossed or something. But I'm not seeing anything like that. Could they be next to each other? I gotta, I mean, it could be anything at this point. That's a rolling pin hovering in midair. Yeah, it's, it's not a great hidden object game. we are well aware. Alright, guest quarters. Let's see how this lock works. The door to the location, blah, 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 blah. Rube Goldberg, blah, blah, blah. What's the... Oh, wait. I cannot shoot the eggs. Can I shoot the apple? Hell yeah! Apparently I can only shoot it once. What about the, uh... What about this button? I could just push the button, couldn't I? Alright. Oh, what's this? Ah... Alright, so now I'm toasting some toast. Now I'm grinding the toast into chicken feed. Oh. Then I clicked off the screen. That wasn't great. <laughs> Alright, uh. Da! Ah, three and one half. Three. Okay, there is no one half. Alright, let me just try this again. Where does this battery... Oh, there the battery goes. Alright, now can I shoot you again and knock you off since... Oh, I guess I'm just supposed to use that code. Percent... Sorry, uh, pound sign, percent... Uh, lesser than... Go. Oh. Take that, turkey. You jive turkey. No, I'm not gonna. So I need two eggs. How do I... Three and one half. 
But what does that mean? Three one half. Three and one half inches what? Like there's no inches button here. Oh, what's this? I don't know what I'm looking at. I, I seriously have no idea what I'm looking at here. Uh, okay, and there. Is three and one half inches related to that lock somehow? And what's going on with this thing? Oh, three and a half, Jesus. Three and a half. Okay. That's it, right? Wait, what? What is happening? S okay, so that's... Star... A spade, moon. Right? Two. See, the three and a half there seems like it has to be there. Because that's what's related to, and that turned it on. Okay. And now give her... Oh, no, it's two... Oh, okay. It's two moons. Now, let's start this over. So it's uh, two moons... One. Why is it not working? What's happening here? Um. Hi. Alright, do I have to do this one first? I can't do it anymore. Why is nothing happening? Have I broken the game? Oh, wait. Hey. Are all of them the same on every level? I wonder what that could mean. Uh, they are all the same. Does anybody see symbols like that somewhere on the screen? I'm going to take a hit for this one, because this is baffling. Yeah, no, I know. Well, yeah, but... It's not letting me feed that anymore. Are you not seeing this? It doesn't work. Can I restart that puzzle? Okay, good. Boop. That was weird, right? Alright, so the answer is... Star percentage... Less, lesser than... Good. Unlock the secret door. Will do. Does that thing ever pop? Thank you. Three and a half inches. Alright, now press the button. So what I want first is uh, three spades, two diamonds, two hearts. So one, two, three spades? Yeah, three spades. One, two, and then two of the last one. Yeah, not having a way to dump out the bowl if you screw it up is a problem. Kind of a big problem. Having to restart the puzzle because you made that one mistake? Ah, uh, Chris. Alright, here we go. And now, apparently I didn't have to restart the puzzle. I just had to make him eat it and he would have eaten the wrong thing. You can stop judging me now, even though I respect your right to. Uh, one... One, and two, and then we're done. Again. I shouldn't have had to use that hint. I didn't have to use that hint. That was just me being foolish. All right, now you eat. Oh no, this is the eat button. Yay! Are we done? I feel like we're done. Do I have to shoot the eggs, or? Oh, it's what pattern they are. Okay, I really am a dummy. Oh boy, that was that took me way too long to figure out. There we go. Nope, green. Thank you. Ah, pink was right up there. Yellow is way at the no. No, it looks kind of like a fingerprint. Yep, there it is. And of course, uh, the most beautiful blue of all light blue done thank you 
All right, let's go check out the room, shall we? <laughs> uh, Asparagus Bell Clown. Nice. Well, there's the clown. Asparagus is... No, those are leeks. Uh, okay. Asparagus is... Yep, there it is. Bell Shaving Brush Pan Flute. Bell Shaving Brush Pan Flute Blender Pretzel Typewriter. Sad there's been no more. Uh, I mean, I know I already got a lot of uh, gramophones. I'm sad there's not one. In the, I mean, I've opened two new doors and neither one has had a gramophone behind it. It's a. And I clicked off the screen again. What keeps happening to me? Uh, pretzel, please. Bell. Oh, there's the bell. I feel like that's the exact same bell I've seen before. Shaving brush and a blender. Well, the blender is not hard to find. Shaving brush would be, yep, I thought it was among my tassels, and it absolutely was. Yay! Felt good. Uh, I would like to go back to the map, thank you. Treehouse. Let's do this. Human skull? No. Rooster? I feel like I've seen the rooster before. Well, whatever. I'll get back to it. Um, okay, so it's Seahorse Boxing Gloves Tea. When you say tea, you just mean a cup, right? Yeah, we did this last time. Hot dog grapes, shovel handle, rooster, pear. Where's the pear? Shovel handle. So like the the grabby part at the top? Yes, Hoguru. That's what a handle is. Um, okay. Uh, shovel handle, rooster, pear. Oh, there's the rooster. Um, seahorse grapes. Well, grapes are always easy to find. Seahorse was literally next to the grapes. I was going to say, it will probably be harder. But no, he was a nearly transparent image hanging, you know, on a piece of wood. Uh, sorry, pasted crudely to a piece of wood directly next to the thing I was clicking on. So, yeah, I looked at that time. Uh, hot dog shovel handle. Still don't know what a hot shovel handle exactly would look like. If I get the chance, I, uh, I definitely will come back and use a hint here to find that out. Uh, and maybe also for the hot dog, because I've not seen that either. Alright, next. Sad we didn't get to close that one out, but what are you going to do? Front porch! Honey dipper. Yep. Remember exactly where that one is. Remember the cow skull is. The mountain bolt is hidden right here inside the bird, because what the hell is wrong with you people? Uh, there's the tape at the bottom. I believe I had to use a clue for that one yesterday. Shovel is in plain view. We got two lizards. That one... Ah, yeah. Okay, there he is. A uh, beer can, which is right here. And two brushes, which maybe I'll come back for later. Maybe I won't. Greenhouse. A skull. Greenback. Remember the greenback is. A skull less so. Uh, let's see. Got a skeleton. Hey, remember the screaming face? How ridiculous that was. Uh, the scream. It's a, it's a baby yelling, but it's transparent hovering. So it's a ghost baby. Basically, I'm, I'm just asking you to click on a ghost baby. Uh, moss ball grapes lawnmower. <laughs> oh, I'm going to miss that. Uh, that's a pineapple. That's very far from grapes. Seriously, where's this lawnmower? It's a gun. Did they just forget to draw anything back here? Because that looks like a void just above and to the right of the uh, uh, Venus flytraps. Oh my god. Uh, seeing Venus flytraps always make, of the th uh, make me think of my first like experience with a horror version of a Venus flytrap. Uh, and you're going to say, oh, you mean Little Shop of Horrors. Uh, and I would say... Good guess. Fantastic guess. Love that guess. Not not correct, no. Uh, my first and most traumatic experience with a giant monster-sized Venus flytrap. Knife, moss ball. What is a moss ball? I mean, that's a moss ball. What is that? Is that a lawnmower back there? No. This lawnmower is going to drive me crazy. Are we sure that shape up there isn't a skull? Okay. Oh, uh, yeah, it was in a comic book. Uh, let's see... I think issue four of a comic book. Maybe five. All I remember is it had a great cover. Uh, what comic book could that have been? Good question. Uh, what I'd like you to do is guess. If you can guess which childhood comic book of mine had a, a harrowing adventure 
against giant carnivorous plants, uh, where people go to like a museum of dangerous alien plants and it it just eats the f out of them. Uh, if you can tell me what comic book that happened in, I will. Uh, if you're the first commenter below the video to mention where that came in, I will be happy to award you a prize, a code from the uh, Steam grab bag of free game codes that I distribute from. It's really bothering me that I can't find this skull, but it's bothering me more that I can't find a lawnmower. Lawnmowers are not traditionally small, nor... Oh, it's one of the push lawnmowers. Okay, that's bad. It's bad that it didn't occur to me for a second that it could be a, uh, a push lawnmower. Violin. Uh, evil face? What the hell does evil face mean? This guy? This screaming monster here? No? Okay. Cup and saucer could not be more central in the frame. Violin. Golf ball. Rose. Violin, golf ball, rose. Ah, golf ball. Shamrock Cobra. Shamrock Cobra. Uh, okay, Shamrock Cobra. Violin, which I thought was going to be a lot easier to find. It was next to the squirrel. Uh, Evil Face Rose. Evil Face Rose, Shamrock Cobra. So the shamrock would probably be somewhere in green, so let's just quickly scan the green areas. Apparently it wasn't. Wait! No, it wasn't. Uh, is that a... did I need a, a knife? No. Shamrock Cobra. Evil Face Rose. Well, the rose has to be findable, doesn't it? Unless, again, it's like a, a stone rose that's a different... that's a strange color. Like a purple stone rose. That is a weird monster you built. It reminds me of uh, Dr. Seuss and his father. Uh, who, Dr. Seuss, uh, his father ran a zoo, hence uh, the famous Dr. Seuss book, If I Ran the Zoo. His father did run a zoo, so there were always, like, pieces of dead animals lying around. Is that the evil face? That was the evil face, apparently. I feel bad for whoever modeled for that one. Although now I'm thinking of that uh, Jack the Ripper game where it's like, uh, lower the list of suspects uh, from this uh, from playing this game of Guess Who. I'm like, okay, we could do that, or I could click on the one that's clearly a drawing of a monster rather than just a photograph of a person the way the rest of them are. Crab, hourglass, hair dye, jester. Jester, no, that's not a jester hat, okay. Ghost chicken? You don't want the ghost chicken. There's the jester. Uh, I need an umbrella, a rubbin, rubbin, a robin, and a croissant. Thank you, hairdryer. Um, still no rooster, huh? Okay, robin should be brightly colored, kind of a reddish bird, I feel like. Ah, red-breasted. There we go. I didn't remember. You know what? It's the cardinal that's all red. I just remembered that. Uh, now, compass, which one do you mean? Do you mean, yeah, directional this time. Finally, it was directional. Is that a sh Yeah, that's a shark. It's definitely a shark. Weird thing to have taxidermied here. Or maybe it's just a model. Is that a uh, ibis that's made out of gold looking for uh, water? It's kind of boss. What was that? Crab hourglass umbrella croissant. That was the crab. Uh, croissant, of course that's a piece of bread in the shape of a crescent moon, hence the term croissant. Uh, you'd think that wouldn't be that hard to find, but I got a loaf of bread, I got a pizza, I've got a... Oh, that was the croissant. Okay. <laughs> I did, it wasn't that hard to find. Uh, hourglass, I've been looking for this whole time on and off, and I just haven't seen hide nor hair of it. Although, uh, I gotta say, um... I'm trying to cut back on uh, models from video games. You know, I got the uh, the Dark Souls models because I love those guys. And I've got my house from Resident Evil 7. I've got a statue of the the Joker hanging out at a desk. Uh, which is less impressive than the other two. I mean, I've got the... Oh, and I've got the... Um, you know... Uh, I'm trying to 
remember what it's from. You know, the the Metal Gear Solid. Uh, the Metal Gear thing. Got one of those. You know, the plastic arm from Metal Gear Solid 5. I was, um, uh, I don't, I'm not going to say I ever really considered buying it, but there was a moment when I saw that edition that came with a full-sized metal arm. I mean, no, I was never going to spend $500 on a copy of Metal Gear Solid 5, but, you know, looking at that statue, the full-size robotic arm, it was, whew, it was kind of amazing. Penguin helmet wrench light bulb. Penguin helmet wrench light bulb. I kind of find it amazing that, um, uh, so that uh, Hideo Kojima, and I just want to, I don't want to know if, I don't know if he's stupid or brilliant, because in one of the first trailers for Phantom Pain, spoiler alert for Phantom Pain, by the way, uh, in the, one of the first trailers for Phantom Pain, he had. Like, um, when you flash back, like, the whole game is, 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 most of the game is in, you know, third person, right? Uh, only the first hospital segment is in first person. Uh, when you're getting your initial treatment, seeing the thing, and then seeing what happens, and quiet shows up, and boss, big boss throws her out the window, all of that stuff, right? Uh... Well, what bothered me about that, I mean, I use bother, kind of bother, is, uh, so it, it's kind of brilliantly constructed because it hints with the first person camera in the waking up sequence that you should realize that the, uh, the, the earlier hospital sequences are also first person camera, and then you'd have figured out right away that you were looking at the boss and Miller, uh, which is, again, a brilliant twist. Really, really good twist. Even if people apparently did figure it out, you know, ten years ago. Some guy was, uh, was a, a, I don't know where it is on the internet. Uh, that's not where I needed the hourglass, but I'm glad I found an hourglass. Figured out that there were two big bosses. That there was the guy who did Zanzibar Land and Outer Heaven and went nuts and got killed. And then there's the second big boss who shows up at the end of uh, Guns of the Patriots. And now we find out how that happened. And it kind of interested me. All right, because in the first trailer for it, he actually shows the scene where Boss is on the table and uh, Miller's on the next table and they're talking about how bad Boss is and then Miller looks at the camera, which is you, and says, what about him? Right? And they put that in a trailer. And that's the crazy part. Uh, and because someone saw that trailer and recognized that Ishmael was being voiced by Kiefer Sutherland and had seen that Kiefer Sutherland had been uh, hired to play Big Boss, or Boss, or Venom Snake, is that what he called himself? They used those, you know, disparate points of reference to realize, oh my god, uh, he's playing... There we go. Uh, okay, Rose, Rose, no, no, Rose is anywhere. Yeah. What is this? Hmm. No? This is so peculiar. Uh, yeah, that he was playing um, Boss, so then the act character you're playing as isn't Big Boss, no matter what you think. And that was very interesting. Uh, nope, not seeing anything. And I just find it kind of amazing that uh, someone just from the trailer figured that out. Nope. Alright, what about first floor? Can I find anything here on the front porch? This is bad. I need three more items before I can hint us out of here. Maybe I will have to find the brushes. There's one. And what's the other brush? Is it a paintbrush or something? I feel like we did do the two brushes before. Yeah, and of course, uh, Kojima was confronted with that there, and he's like, What are you, crazy? That's a ridiculous thing to say. Because what's he going to do? And I guess my question becomes, why do that at all? Like, 
because you put yourself in this position where you're forced it was a painting brush uh, where you're forced to lie to your audience like you're put in this position where here are your two choices give away twist from the end of the game now before the game is being finished made uh, finished being made there are the oars or conversely oh, one more and then I can cheat our way out of here we still have to find one more just one. Toguru, you can do this. That's an umbrella right there. No, okay. Well, yeah. It's, it's just such a strange thing to do. To put in a line, to put in a moment that you can easily cut out, because hell, the first time you see that cutscene in the game, they don't show that end line. Like, it is cut out the first time. Is that an umbrella? No, god damn it. I'm looking for the hook ending is what I'm looking for. And I'm not having any luck. Uh, lock the doors? Okay. I feel like you're not really speaking to me, are you, lady? No, I found it. That's the hourglass. Like, why give people this weird clue in the video that serves only to... There it is. No, I was wrong about it. it can show stuff right at the corner of the screen. I don't know why I never found that one item that one time, but yeah, it's obviously on me, not on the game. Much as I would love to blame the game for my failures. Oh, yeah, there, I see it. I just, I guess I don't understand, is it, I don't understand, oh, what a stupid place to hide a hot dog. So tricky. Alright, let's see if there's one we really want to know the location of. Yeah, Rose, Shamrock, or Cobra, that sounds good. I hate that you, no matter how many more uh, items are added to the list I have to get in a level, every single time, it's always, yeah, you have to find all but two of them. It never gets any easier. It consistently gets a lot harder. Cobra! That was not a good uh, G.I. Joe style shriek. Low the Zam to a minute. Oh no, he caught her and it just attacked him with an axe. Wow. Dude has lost all sense of subtlety, huh? Alright, uh, I guess he figured out they were planning to leave. Okay. Yes, yes, I'm trying to click there. Thank you. Oh, I see. You're telling me that wasn't a corner piece. And had I looked closely at it, I would have known that. Alright, strong. Just strong point in every way. There we go. Oh no! Wow. Okay. What have we got here? We've got... Yay! What is that? I cannot tell what that part is. Oh, it's the hatchet. Damn, the things are not looking good for our lady, although... Since she's the one writing the diary, I don't understand how, uh, you know, this scene can go as badly for her as it seems like it's about to. Uh, why is he so crazy? What did you, what? Oh, you know what? I bet it's his, uh, all his taxidermy. I bet he was using, like, mercury to tan the hides of things he used in his taxidermy. And the consequence was that he was driven mad by mercury ingestion. So, uh, really, this is the fault of the mercury industry, is, is what I'm going to say. And I think there's a lot of textual evidence supporting that point. <laughs> I mean, mostly the taxidermy room and the fact that he's, you know, super nuts. But that's, that's uh, textual evidence. I think that counts. Okay, that is your leg. And those pants, this is here, almost done. Yeah, we can pretty much just, uh, you know, nap through the rest of this. Now it's just a question of how many of them are going to be already aligned the right way. There we go, Mr. Cleaver. Oh, hey, Mr. Cleaver, nice. Uh, a lot of quizzes this time, so uh, you have plenty of options and chances to enter one. No! My precious hand! What? Uh, there we go, and there is the fourth. Perfect! Let's see this. 
Rose is packing my a few belongings as I use what little strength I have remaining to record the events transpiring around us. Charles is out of the manor for how long? We know not, so we must make haste. We have come to the conclusion that Charles's madness has fully consumed his mind. He moves about in erratic fashion, speaking amongst almost incomprehensible nonsense. Rose believes those odd devices he builds in on the doors to be locks. He wants to keep me with him forever. I am so weak, but we must break free from this place. Why would he? Good question. Totes, really good question. All right, so uh, I assume we can get into the final room now. I believe it was in the basement, the workshop. All right, uh, doorless location, elaborate lock. Elaborate and futuristic lock. Oh wait, that says three on it. Maybe I'm supposed to push that third. Oh, that's weird. Click, click, no. Nope. I need a battery, obviously. Got, a, got this bad boy. Got that going on down there. Got things I can flip. Oh, that was weird. Plus eight minus three is five. Don't know what that means. Um, okay. This could definitely be less confusing. Swipe card, okay. You see, I don't have any of the batteries I'm going to need is the problem here. Oh, I can change the position of the eye. Good. The match, no. Can't pull that, can't work with these. I flip the switch, doesn't do anything. Oh, I see. Um, I was gonna say plus eight minus three was to do with those, but there's only six switches. Also, you can't alter them. Uh, plus and minus there, whatever that means. Does this look like gibberish to anyone else? <laughs> Let's go find some items. Actually, I just looked at the time, and let's go wrap things up. Uh, yeah, Jack in the Box, you say. That shouldn't be too tough. Uh, dentures again! We always get dentures when we come here, don't we? And Turtle, never forget the turtle. Anyway, I've been the Hidden Object Guru. I'd like to thank you for coming along on this journey with me. If you had a good time and you'd like to see more, there's a, a subscription button on the screen coming up, as well as a check uh, a random playlist item that the YouTube algorithm thinks you might want to watch. Um, so I, I was going to say you might enjoy it, but I can't confirm that because I have no idea what it is. And I have a lot of weird videos on here, so who can say? Uh, if you'd like to find out what happens next uh, in her attempts to escape Ravenhurst, Join me back here for the next item on the playlist, but uh, until then, I'm just going to say au revoir, and I uh, wish I could spot this burrito. It's just not happening. <laughs>